In Washington State, we have a challenge. Graffiti is a constant problem, not only in this area, but nationwide as well. Graffiti brings with it a litany of issues, not the least of which is the cost to remove it and the risks involved while performing the work. The Washington State Department of Transportation has miles of walls and bridges that are prime targets for graffiti. Performing our due diligence to remove it often means washed-out workers are placed in situations with increased risk, dealing mainly with high fall hazards. To help mitigate the risks to washed-out employees, Mike Gauger, a washed-out maintenance superintendent, proposed the use of drones to paint in hard-to-reach areas. If the technology proves successful, it could mean big changes in the way graffiti is addressed. Once the State Department of Transportation maintenance personnel are very commonly dispatched to mitigate graffiti on the state highways. When our crews go out to take care of the graffiti, they often find it in hard to reach places, the walls above the interstates, as well as bridge girders, beams and abutments. Um, to, to mitigate graffiti in those hard to reach places, we very often have to use extreme fall protection. Sometimes we use ladders, sometimes we use bucket trucks, and we, we also very commonly use million dollar bridge inspection trucks called U-bits. Uh, uh, anytime we use fall protection, we consider it a hazardous operation. Our people are well trained and have the best equipment to do so, but there's an element of risk in doing it that way. Besides my maintenance superintendent's duties, I, I'm also the director of the Olympic Region Drone Program. I have several drones as well as uh, pilots scattered around our region. We use them for lots of different maintenance activities. We use them for bridge inspection very commonly. We also use them for emergency response slides, sinkholes, uh, that sort of thing, uh, floods. Um, this made me start thinking about alternate ways of delivering paint to, to the graffiti. I, I came to the conclusion if we could use a drone, make it spray paint good enough to cover graffiti, that this might be a better way to mitigate the dangers of graffiti mitigation. In addition to reducing the risk to our employees while performing this work, using this drone also allows us to get to these hard to reach areas more frequently. By getting to them more frequently, the traveling public is happier than we have to see it as often. Furthermore, it allows us to get to many of these hard to reach areas with far less impact to traffic, sometimes with no traffic control, sometimes with minimum traffic control. Uh, also, the efficiencies of using the drone allow us to cover large areas in a very short period of time, ultimately allowing us to get more done and be more efficient. With safety being a top priority at WashDOT, using drone technology in an innovative new way, thinking outside the box to mitigate the safety risks of dangerous work for WashDOT employees, serves not only the employees, but the traveling public in a very positive way.